Still the breakfast and plus TV Africa. Welcome back. Just as the Ocean State All Progressives Congress is about to hold its primary election in the state on Saturday, the internal wrangling in the state is far from over as a former governor of the state, Rauf Aragbe Shola, and the incumbent governor of Ocean State, Oyetola Boega are at loggerheads as they battle for supremacy. There have been accusations from both groups against each other. And uh, it remains to be seen if they would sheet the assaults before the primary election Saturday. That's a question on the minds of many people. Joining us now to discuss this are members of the All Progressives Congress in Ocean State. would like to welcome at this point um, Mr. Delani Baderiwa. He's a secretary of Ocean State APC. Um, he is also from the Ralph Arabeshala faction, if you permit me to say that. And uh, Mr. Kola Labisi is a media consultant to the Ocean State Governor. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time and uh, thanks for joining us. A pleasure of being with you. All right. Um, let, let's start from um, um, Mr. Uh, Bolarinwa, uh, sorry, Baderinwa Delani. What's um, governor, former Governor Robert, Ralph Agbesho, Arag Besho has, um, issue um, with the current governor and, of course, with um, his uh, political benefactor, the, um, the leader of the All Progressives Congress, um, uh, Bola Metunibu? He's called him a god recently. Thank you very much. Uh, the situation with us in Oshun is like uh, when somebody spent eight years with you as the chief of staff and he didn't raise an eyebrow. <clears throat> as a cabinet commissioner, I am aware that anything that goes to Raouf as the governor must first of all pass through the chief of staff. Any, anything that is coming back to the commissioner must pass through the chief of staff. Uh, therefore, the former chief of staff and the current governor was in charge and there wasn't any problem for the whole of eight years. He didn't raise an eyebrow at anything. And uh, we want to say with all sense of responsibility that we found it out of place and to a large extent, uh, some sort of wickedness for him to become the governor and now start to condemn almost all the projects they did together almost all the programs they did together, almost all the policies they formulated together have uh, become an object of con condemnation. And we felt, you know, if we continue like this, we won't get anything to campaign with. When Chief Akande was governor and he was rigged out of office, part of what Rauf Arabe Shola used in campaigning when he came was the projects, policies and programs of Chief Isi Akande. Now, if you rubbish all those programs now, what are we going to campaign with? That is on one hand. On the other hand, the party, the APC in Ocean, had been you know, in crisis within itself with nobody, especially the outgoing party chairman, you know, not doing anything about it. Almost all the 31 local governments in the state had crisis within the party, and not one was resolved for that long. Therefore, we felt it imperative for us to recreate the APC in the state of Oshun and then to make sure that, yes, we get it right. If you want to go to a place, you have a vehicle that doesn't have tire, that doesn't have brake, uh, God save you if you'll be able to get to your destination. And we felt Oshun APC has to be recreated. And that was the reason why we came up with the idea of forming ourselves into the Oshun Progressive. In which case, we knew what we were talking about. All of the people working with the present government were actually, you know, people from other, other parties, okay. particularly the PDP, to okay. come and join us after okay, so, we so have Mr. won Mr. Delany, the but, uh, but anyway, and, we, we have to bring in your, your counterpart at this point. So what you're saying is that... I have not uh, finished, finished the point I'm making, and I'm not yeah, sure we don't, we you don't are have clear about time. So can you just maybe summarize it in one sentence because of time? We have us about five to six well, minutes. Well, I, I, it is impossible for me to summarize it in one sentence. Otherwise, but, but, but let me help you. So, me so, but, but, but let me help you, sir. To it in so, one but, but, but you were saying basically, I'm saying you, yeah. I'm saying to you that the party was in a mess, in crisis, and that the fact that nothing was done about it up until when we started raising eyebrow. And we were not even going to do anything by ourselves. We wanted to consult so that we carry everybody along. Okay. The current governor was not home when we, we, we 
we started. We had to see his predecessor who came along. Okay. So Shortly we, after we came back from yeah. former governor, everybody in the in governor with Italia's cabinet rose against us and they started, you know, attacking us right, left and center. All Both, right. So you know, so so this, and and so this is and basically, that was where the yeah. whole aggravation of the problem started from. Okay. Uh, 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 call Olabisi. Ola, Ola you you've had. Um, uh, from from your your counterpart, your colleague in the party, and what do you say to his own theory as to the reasons why um, former Governor Rauf Aregbeshola is is um, you know has been uh, embarking on this uh, criticism of uh, Tinubu and also Governor uh, Oye Tola. Miss Olabisi, are you there, please? Okay, uh, uh, we'll try to reconnect with Colonel Abisi, who is the media advisor to the current governor of Washington State. Uh, but, but back to you, uh, Ms. Delaney um, um, This 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 reasons you've, you've, you've put forward as why uh, former Governor Rava Arabeshola has been speaking or talking tough recently, for instance. I, I, I haven't even got into yeah, Rava Arabeshola. But, 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 but some would say, I just want yeah, to some would say, it's, 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 yeah, some would say, sir, uh, it's simply about the control of the All Progressives Congress in. In, 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 in Oshun State, and the fact that uh, in the local government and the ward and local government congresses, uh, Arabe Shola was not able to have his faction emerge and members of his faction emerge, or see those who he wanted to be the delegates and leadership ex of the party emerge. And that yeah, is yeah, the problem. about matters that are about three, four months ago. But, now I'm talking about issue that was over a year that had been on for three years. Uh, they do not tally in any way. I'm saying we all sense of responsibility, the fact that, yes, we have a situation whereby the party has been in crisis all along. And in addition to that, that the governor came and shot, shot out everybody that has anything to do with Raul Varebeshola, and nobody will be happy. The, the, the matter of uh, uh, politics is not about, you know, religion. It's about working and being you know, paid back handsomely, if you, if you, mind, if you don't mind that word, mm. for what you have done. You know, everybody within Arab Shola's purview was shot out of the system and all that. He, he, he came into the matter, you know, after a long wait, thinking that, yes, things will be corrected. Okay. Uh, I, I'm aware that at one time or the other, I assured you, intervened. And uh, basically, it was like, it wasn't, you know, what was expected that came out of that meeting. Okay. But at the end of the day, yeah, it has to be that yes, it's a it's a fight of survivor, and you must survive within the political situation. Not because of anything, not because of any. Because tell, tell you what, after all, it is not so many people that will always have the opportunity to be a governor for eight years and still become a minister almost immediately. And therefore, for anybody to think that he has any stake in notion beyond that everything should be better, we should continue to be in government, you know, like he fought tooth and nail. Okay, uh, 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 yes, sir. We, we, I was waiting, that, waiting for you to land, Adela Nibardi, I was waiting for you to land. But I have another question for you because you don't have too much time. Uh, why the attacks on um, Bola Metinubu by Ralph Arabeshal? I mean, they've been political allies. Some will say that um, Tinubu is his political benefactor because, of course, he was, he was commissioner. I, 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 do think, I, yeah. do, I do not think he attacked them. He only stated his own side of the case. Everybody okay. has been saying that, yes, he picked, uh, uh, Ashwaju picked him from the daughters. And I am aware that this is a man who, to a large extent, was self made to a so, 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 certain extent before, you know, he and Bolatino who met. But, he, but he, in, in politics, he, he was not from Lagos State, but uh, Tiribu made him commissioner in Lagos State he, he was, and then supported him Lagos to become State. governor in Oshu State. Uh, by the time they met, he was contesting for the House of Representatives for a Limoshaw Federal constituency. When Ashura Ju was contesting for the Senate seat for Lagos West, that was where they met, under the purview of Chief Dakosha Sarumi, who had the Primrose Group then. And with that, he saw the innate capacity in him. And that was the reason why he you know, attracted him to his side. That is what happens in politics at all times. 
for me, for me, who is a smaller person to Arabe Shola compared to Arabe Shola's profile when he, he came into, you know, being a commissioner. I think it will be out of place for anybody to say that he, he brought me from the gutters. I do not think it makes sense. And so he has to state his own side of the case, which is stated very well, you know, that, yes, this is the situation between us. And I didn't see it as an attack. He was only making okay. a statement of fact. All right. If anybody uh, believes that, Mr. that Mr. Badrewa, is an attack. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. But, but um, Raul Farabeshola is no longer the governor. He is no longer no. in power. Uh, why Boys does he? Minister. Yes, but why does he have an issue uh, if the governor of the state decides to run his administration the way he deems fit? Does he want the governor to come consult him in Abuja on what to do per time? Uh, I, if the I governor decides to, to, if the governor decides to rubbish his I, projects, I want, he, all he, the I, only I thing he, yeah. Anybody, I want to put it to anybody who has fear of God in him to come and state once. That Arabe Shola has said that he wanted anything from Uyitola. That has not happened. And I've seen it with all of But you just, just said it here that uh, Uyitola is running the administration without bringing in, you know, uh, Arabe Shola or referring to him rubbishing his projects, you know, and all that. Well, well, you won't be happy if you work very hard to make certain things happen. And you have somebody kicking it around, wanting to destroy it. You won't be happy. Nobody will. I tell you, and I know that you will not be happy having such a situation. But, 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 but the, mecha mecha the mechanisms for the party, uh, for anybody who is aggrieved in the party to, to, to you know, come out and control things and be in charge, it's through the processes of the primaries or the congresses right from the ward level to the local government level and then you go to the state level. And unfortunately, yeah. uh, for you and those in your side of the party, uh, the Ocean Progressives, yeah. Arabic Shalas yeah. people have lost out. But the party is saying everything was transparent. And, and that's it. So why can't you submit to the party's processes and to say, okay, we lost out? We, we live to see the outcome of such decisions. I am aware, I am not a kid in politics. Politics is about give and take. Nobody gives a straight line rule in political you know, resolution of crisis. And I want to say with all sense of responsibility okay. that, yes, let us wait and see the outcome of all right. what has been done. All right, thank you very much. Uh, we will certainly bring you back tomorrow, sir, so we can have a, a robust, more robust uh, discussion with your colleague from the other side. Uh, but uh, Adelani Baderiwa is uh, the Secretary of the All Progressives Congress in Oshun State. Thank you very much for your time, sir. My pleasure, my brother. Thank you. Well, it's uh, quite a uh, very, very serious and heated one in Oshun State. That's the secretary of the party in, in the APC um, <laughs> going against his own political party, essentially. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. The primary um, election for the Upper Aggressives Congress is on Saturday in Oshun State. So we'll, we'll be watching what happens there. Thank you very much for your time. That's it on The Breakfast this morning on Plus TV Africa. You can follow us on our social media pages at CB Central Plus TV Africa on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and of course on YouTube where you can watch all our programs and uh, all our content. My name is Kofi Patel. So we return tomorrow. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.